This video is about another quick win in ES6. Quick wins are easy to learn, they can be mastered quickly, and they motivate you to proceed with the more complicated elements of the language. Default arguments come handy as they shorten your code significantly whenever a function argument is optional. In order to understand the problem domain, let's use ES5 first to handle optional arguments with default values. Suppose we are implementing a calendar and we have to write a function to add a calendar entry. Three arguments of our function are optional. We use the type of operator to check if an argument was provided. When an argument is not provided, we set its value to a default. After running the code, we can see that the three default argument substitutions took place. A popular shorthand for optional parameters in ES5 uses the logical OR operator, making use of shortcuts in logical operations. For instance, in the first substitution, new date dot get time is not even evaluated whenever the value date is truthy. Date has a truthy value whenever it's provided. When date is not provided, its value is undefined. As undefined is a falsy value, we evaluate the right hand side of the OR expression to determine the value. While this approach looks nice on paper, shortcuts are sometimes not flexible enough. All falsy values are treated in the same way, including zero, the empty string, and even false. Sometimes we may want to treat a zero differently than an undefined that indicates the absence of a value. For instance, in case of the date argument, a value of 0 would symbolize January 1st, 1970, midnight. Let's learn the ES6 way. ES6 supports default values for arguments. Whenever an argument is not given, the default value is substituted. Each optional argument may receive a default value using the equation sign and the JavaScript expression. The variable substitutions occur in the same way as in the ES5 example. Default arguments can have arbitrary types and values. All considerations for let declarations, including the temporal dead zone, holds. Therefore, don't use an argument in the default expression of a previous argument. Our last example is about the arguments array. In ES5, we use the implicit arguments variable to access all the arguments of a function. For instance, in print arcs first, second, first and second are made accessible in the arguments array. In Node.js, this array appears as an object with keys 0 and 1. In Chrome Developer Tools, the arguments array appears as an array. The behavior of the arguments array stays the same regardless of the notation. Bear in mind that the arguments array is not affected by the default parameter values in any way. As you can see, the default argument value doesn't appear in arguments. As a consequence, I suggest not using the arguments array with default arguments unless you take special care. In a future video, you will learn about REST parameters that will enable you to handle variable number of arguments. Therefore, you won't even need the arguments array anymore.